everybody and welcome back to The Deft and the Verbs. I'm Beck and today we are going to be talking about color analysis. It's something I've been intrigued by for years. I don't know about your algorithms, but for a while I was seeing like Instagram reel after Instagram reel about people doing color analyses and although I do consider myself a stylist, I felt so dumb <laughs> because with most of those like when they like tear the fabric away and like, oh, oh my gosh, it looks so much better. I could never see the difference. I'm good at figuring out the rules of fit and style and stuff like that and what might work for someone, what might not work for the other. I know what colors are in and out right now. Colors themselves um, has never been a super big, honestly, strength of mine, even when I was um, a web designer. My instinct with colors has not always been, shall we say, sophisticated. And I do know of a stylist who I respect very much who does a color analysis training. I don't even know if I took a color analysis class, if it would be a right fit for me and if I would get it. My mom had sent me an article from the Washington Post, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and she's like, maybe this is a topic for an episode. And then uh, a blog I read, Wardrobe Oxygen, Allison from that blog posted that same article like a week or two later. And it was really interesting. Even though there's some science and color theory behind color analysis, it is still so subjective. And that's basically what the writer said in the article. Like she got several different color analyses and all came up with different answers, depending on what the person saw. Back in the 80s, people got their colors done. My mom did. It's not a new thing, but it is gonna depend on who's doing it and what they see that day. So I wanted to try to play with, without hiring a stylist or a color analysis expert to do my colors yet, I wanted to see what the tools they mentioned in this article, what they could do for me and see if I could find some answers. I'm gonna try some of these tools and see if I understand my color analysis better than doing my own research. From my own research and from just looking at the colors I like to wear, I determined I was a spring. The resource I used at the time to tra figure out uh, what I was is the conceptwardrobe.com. They have a comprehensive guide to each of the seasons. I thought it was a spring based on the colors I like to wear, based on the criteria I found on that website. So the first thing I tried was TikTok. There is a TikTok effect that puts different colors by your face based on season so you could see what looks best. Armochromia, that is what the TikTok filter is called. So I went, I tried this TikTok effect and was even more lost than before. I had no idea. This one doesn't give you any hints. It just kind of throws you by each of the colors. Nothing looked necessarily better or worse to me. I did get some comments on that TikTok post though. So. This is the post. Let me see what comments I had. <laughs> and it's gonna be interesting because I got 12 comments. All right, someone said winter, maybe summer. <laughs> that was the same person, winter, maybe summer. Someone said summer, two ex exclamation points. Someone said, I think it's between summer and autumn, which makes no sense because those are opposites. So true, but keep that one in mind. Keep that one in mind. I vote summer, but I think you are possibly muted or in between two seasons. That's why it's so hard. I don't know, I'm in between. Okay, this one person said spring with two exclamation points. For sure autumn, we've gotten all four seasons now. Summer, 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 fall, and 100% summer. I love that people actually responded though, that's cool. Thank goodness people weighed in on TikTok because I could see no difference between any of these. Okay, so. It was mostly summer. And then one of the other apps that you could try is an app called Dressica. That's another one of those that they mentioned in the article. Dressica, you do have to pay to play. If there was a free version, I couldn't figure out how to do it. So I just did 12 months and I'm hoping to cancel before the three day free trial is up. So I did a couple different pictures in Dressica but basically you're supposed to take a picture with little or no makeup on. Um, it looks like for this, they do let you have your hair down. I tried both. I tried hair down and hair up. First one I got was warm autumn. And then I tried different lighting because at first I was doing all um, natural light. And then what did I try? 
And then I tried a couple different lighting scenarios and I got soft summer. So it's looking like, it's looking like warm autumn or soft summer. So the results for soft summer, my best colors are soft, not too saturated, light with the addition of gray. Not too saturated, keep that in mind. Meanwhile, <laughs> my warm autumn analysis is medium saturated, warm, light, and dark. Do they both say warm, light, no. So this is warm, they both say light, light colors, but autumn puts dark in and I can, I can handle some medium saturation. Most of the people on TikTok said, said summer, most of, I mean this, Jessica, I was pretty happy with this app. Um, I think it's worth doing even if you just do the three day trial because you get to play with your clothing colors, you get to play with color combinations, makeup colors, hair colors. Jessica really wants me to be a redhead. It really does. And honestly, I would be okay with that. I think I look great as a redhead, but red dye does not stay in my hair. <laughs> It, it will come out in a week and that is not worth spending $200 on. So now we, I'm probably a summer. I, I'm probably not a spring like I thought I was, but I love wearing bright colors. That's why I just wanted to be a spring. I wanted to manifest spring. And usually with color analysis, they say with bright colors, depending on what season you are, you see the color before you see the face. And I'm like, is that bad? I'm kind of fine with that. <laughs> you can look at my shirt before you look at my face, it's fine. I probably really, really put some thought into my shirt, more than my face, so it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna try one more method that I have not tried yet. This is a method using Photoshop, or I think there's a TikTok filter with it too, but I have Photoshop, so I'm gonna utilize it. You figure out your color palette of your skin, your hair, um, your eyes, in Photoshop, and then you ask ChatGPT, so using AI to what your season would be. Oh, okay, so this is, this the, the thing they talk about in the tool, in the, on the article is Adobe Color, which is a tool for um, helping extract a theme. I think I'm just gonna do this manually because I already have Photoshop, so I'm just gonna do this manually. It, it, it makes a color palette based on colors in your face. So you upload a photo of yourself standing in front of a window with no shadows and your hair pinned back. So I have a photo we're gonna work with today. Um, then move the circles around. So they're sampling the colors from different spots in your photo. I put them on my eyes, hair, lips, and neck. Okay, eyes, hair, lips, and neck. I guess neck makes sense because I like, I have like red cheeks and like my cheeks are generally a different color than the rest of my face. So neck makes sense. So let's try it. And then you put it in chat GPT. Okay, so I have my face up here in Photoshop. We're gonna start to click around. Use the eyedropper right here. There's a shadow on my neck. I'll try to grab it where there's not a shadow. And then I need to grab the hex code from here. So that's my neck. Let me take it from like my forehead too. Cause so I feel like there's, oh, maybe from like down here. Yeah, that's good. That was the same color as my forehead, I think. So let's take that. That seems like a more accurate uh, skin. Let's use that one. All right, so we have the skin color. Now we're gonna try to get the eye color. This selfie is pretty dark, so this might be a little challenging. I have light brown eyes. We'll see if this picks up on that. Let me, let me zoom in here. Oof, that's so very scary. Do not do this. <laughs> Um, yeah, I want to pick up on the light brown. Let's try that. It's like a, it's like a, an olive brown. It's like almost a greenish brown. So we're going to go that, with that for my eye color. I apologize. That is so close up. And then they said hair. So my hair is back for the most part, but we can probably get... Yeah, I think my hair is a lot lighter than this, but of course your hair is dark at the roots. So we'll just grab this very dark brown color and say that's my hair color. We'll see what they come up with with this. All right, so I have my information. We're gonna see what ChatGPT says. Let's see what I have to type in here. 
Repeat this process. Now open chat GPT and type in what you found. Okay, let's open it. All right, here's the prompt. My skin color is blank. So this is gonna find out if we are warm or cool and based on, I guess based on the fact that I'm an autumn and a summer, I'd be a warm if this is correct. So let me type in this prompt. Type in this prompt, let me replace it. Okay, we're good, we're good. My skin color is this, my eyes are this, my hair is this. Are these shades warm or cold? Cool, let's find out. Okay, okay, chat GPT. Here we go. Um, the shades you provided are hexadecimal color codes. It's true, I know that. But without seeing the actual colors, it's a bit tricky to determine whether they are warm or cool. However, I can give you some general guidance of how to determine warm and cool tones based on these codes. In general, warm codes tend to have hints of red, orange, or yellow, while cool tones lean towards blue, green, or purple. For your skin color, it has more of a peachy or golden undertones, it's likely warm. If it has pinkish or bluish undertones, it could be cooler. So this is why I thought I was a spring, and this is why I'm getting really tripped up because my skin is very pink, like my cheeks. I should probably take a sample by my cheeks too because my cheeks get pretty red, and I think it is like a pinky, almost on the bluish side of red. So that, possibly with makeup on, <laughs> I'm in autumn, but that's why I was leaning more towards spring is because of my pink cheeks. For your eye color, it's if it's a deep brown with hints of red, orange, or if it's warm. If it's more of a grayish or bluish brown, it's cooler. Um, it's more of a greenish brown. What does that mean? <laughs> For your hair color, if it's a rich brown with reddish or golden highlights, it's warm. If it's more of an ashy or cool tone brown, it's cooler. I think it has golden highlights, especially because I've gotten it colored and they tend to uh, grow out golden, so I think for that it's probably warmer. Keep in mind that these are just general guidelines and individual perception of color can vary. No kidding. <laughs> if you're still unsure, you might want to consult a color expert or use a color analysis tool to get a more precise determination. So you see where my struggle is. That's why color analysis is so challenging because it's really based on, like they said, perception. One foolproof method though, really, is to pay attention to what people say to you depending on what color. Um, it said that in the article, that's a way to know. If you wear one color all the time and you get compliments all the time, that's probably in your color palette. For instance, I mentioned my mom got her colors done when she was younger in the 80s, she determined she's an autumn and that peach is a really good color for her. She's found whenever she wears a peachy color. Still to this day, 40 years later, she still gets compliments when she wears peach. Your colors can change when you get older, but in her case, she's seeing the same result. So pay attention to that. Pay attention to how colors make you, what colors make you feel good. Um, if you want, use a color analysis tool. I would say Dressica is a lot of fun to play with, and it was really fun to see what kind of feedback I got from TikTok. Taking my pink cheeks out of the equation, maybe I am more of a summer and an autumn. I don't know. What do you think? I want to know, have you gotten your colors done? Do you know what color you are? What color do you think I am? It's fine. I'm probably just gonna wear <laughs> the same colors as I always have. I don't think this should limit what colors you pick out um, if you know they work for you. I will wear probably bright highlighter yellow whether it looks good on me or not, and that should be the same for you. I mean, I do know that black and white are in very few color palettes, which is interesting. I think they're just for winters, but a lot of us gravitate towards black and white because it's easy, myself included. So wear whatever you want, of course, <laughs> but it's another tool to help you figure out what might look best on you. Like anything else, like styling, like fashion tips, it's just another tool. Comment below on color analysis. What are your thoughts? What do you think? Would you ever do it? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Turn on those post notifications so you can be alerted right when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Adept in the Burbs. Tune in next week to see whatever I decide to deck out next. Bye.